Na so 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 we dey go, so we dey go, so we dey go, go we dey go. Ah ah ah, yeah yeah yeah, ah yeah. Na so we dey go, yeah yeah. I love the Japanese guys. I love the Japanese guys. So we're going to BC World, guys. We're going to Boston Blue Center. If you're new to the channel, please click the like and subscribe button right now. Support your man, you know. Support your guy, big, I big, I big, I big, big. So let's talk about FA Ajagba, the one and only. I used to call him the Andre Nightmare, but hey, he said he don't want to be called that anymore. His ring, his new nickname is the one and only. So. Uh, I mean, we saw the spectacular knockout, Filip Ergovic, a very special guy, a guy that has it all. You know, he has a big punch. He has a very decent Boston skills. He has a high rig Boston IQ. It's charming. Looks very nice. What else can you ask of? A guy from Croatia, Croatia, very beautiful country. I know a lot of them, you know, they, they, they live in Germany, some of them are here. And uh, I, I talked to some of them, who are really boxing fans as well. Now, Ajakba and Filip Ergovic, who is the best ever prospect? A lot of people are saying, listen, Filip Ergovic is the complete package. Why some people say Ajakba? People like me, let me say, people like me think Ajakba is man. So, listen, I will have to explain why Ajakba, the one and only, is the best everywhere prospect and probably will become a world champion very soon, man. When you look at Filip Ergovic, you see a very spectacular boxer a boxer with a very high ring IQ he's also a warrior if I like Vitaly Klitschko you know Ergovic does it all I have to say that you know he's been in amateur for a very long time before he turned pro he also sparred with the untainted bronze Bomba Waterman What else can you ask for? Ergovic. So for Ergovic from Quatria, 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 Croatia, Croatia. Born in Zagreb, has eight fights, six knockouts, zero losses, man. Resides at Zagreb, Croatia. You know, he just had his day zone and US debut yesterday. And he actually performed the world. I mean, he stopped Greg Corbin or Gregory Corbin in a first round, man. But one knockout punch power. He has about 75k ratio. He went in against Rafael Zubano and knocked him out. And then against Pavel Sao knocked him out. Against Tom Leader knocked him out. Against Sean Turner went distance with him where's Sean Turner by the way this guy is Irish guy Sean Turner what happened to him oh last time he fought was against Nathan Gomer and then after that that was last year he has enforces them wow so Nathan Gomer knocked out Sean Turner why Philip Ergovich couldn't 
Okay. Interesting. So, Filibergovich then fought Filiberto Tovar, knocked him out. Fought Amir Mansour, knocked him out. The same guy, Efer Jabba, knocked out as well. And then fought Kevin Johnson, could have knocked Kevin Johnson out. And his last fight against was against Gregory Corbin. I actually thought Gregory Corbin will were outperform him in a way. I felt like okay, Felipe Govich has this, he's got this, he can win about, but not that easy. So but he did it. He knocked and hit Gregory Corbin with that huge punch of his. So Eight fights, six scales. Impressive record, and he has a four star rating. You see this? Four star. That is not just from his bouts. That's because this guy is a very good boxer. I mean, he's been touted to be the next big team in every division. And also, I like the I like the style of of, of, of fighting. You know, I like his style of fighter because he's a very accurate guy. He likes to work on a jab. He reminds me of Vitaly Klitschko. That's what it reminds me of. The way he fights. The way he hits. And he hits you with that right hand. And also he knows how... Listen, for you to, if you want to get on the inside of this guy, he knows how to keep you on the bay with a jab. That's something impressive about him. So, he's a good guy. Let's go to the Nigerian monster, if it, the one and only uh, Jagba. To one half star. Okay. 10 fights, 10 knockouts. I will always say 10 knockouts, guys, because Scottie Harper did not want smoke with the Unified Way King of the Universe, man. didn't want it his last fight it knocked out Michael Valish of a tough German kid man a tough German guy first fight against Tyra Anthony Hendon Luke Leons Rodney Hernandez this guy will be fighting another Nigerian monster on the day one on another, another day one he made the Godzilla on June 1st don't miss it a lot of you guys will probably focus on the um, Joshua about which I think oh, I'm gonna actually focus his word focus on, on his word but I'm not gonna actually miss this about man I'm gonna watch it you know I'm gonna watch it because I want to support another one of me on the Nigerian border and I, I, this guy gave a jack by hell Gave a job by hell, man. And then he fought Anthony Johnson in the long cut us up for the guy that got about disqualified. That guy cut us up should never. I mean, I don't blame him anyway, but he was he got scared, so I'm not gonna blame him too much. But it messed up a Jabba's record up, man. Jabba should be having 100% kill ratio right now. Because of this dude. He now has 90% this dude. This dude. Oh, wow. See, that's face be like a... Uh, Pamoy face. Pamoy drinker. I check my head, man. So then fought Nick Jones. Nick Jones... Who was on the feeder at that, at that time and knocked him out, man. For Santino Tumbao. I mean, Mansour and Michael Valich. So, who would be the best prospect, everywhere prospect, 
But who is the best ever prospect? Well, Filip Ergovic has more experience, you can tell. You know, he's been in the game for so damn long to have such experience. And he looks more of a complete fighter. Jagba has got that. And Jiran Hammer. So, I will have to go with Ajabba. Ajabba is the best everywhere prospect right now, man. I'm not saying that because I'm Nigerian. Listen carefully. I know some of you will say, You are too bad because you're Nigerian. So, listen. No, 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 no. Not because of that. Listen. But because Ajabba has an equalizer. And that is the Nigerian power. You know, you see, you you look at your Antiwara, you say, This guy, look at the guy. You see that Nigerian that Nigeria hand that he, that he has? It's what's keeping him in the game right now. If not for the Nigerian hand, water should even compete with likes of uh, the Brazil or the rest of them. But the right hand is scary. That's the reason why he's on top right now, man. So he's the second best everywhere in the world after Anthony Joshua, the unified every king of the whole Gadam universe, man. So Apochi, in my opinion, is the best everywhere prospect. Uh, where a lot of people argue that Tony Yoka might be the best out of all because he's a gold medalist. Listen carefully, Tony Yoka got, got busted for PD. So, people that get busted for PDs, they don't really get my respect, man. I don't like shitters, man. You better come clean or just stay on lane, man. Come clean or stay your lane. That's what I said, man. So, I think the better fighter might be Filip Ergovic because he's the better boxer. But that do not really count. But that doesn't really mean much because in every division, one punch can hand it all. And Jabba has the equalizer on both, of his right, on both of his hands, left and right hand. But our right hand that he possesses is definitely a bomb and the way he jab is just good he always try to put his punches together i think it reminds me of larry holmes okay the way i jump out towards the of larry holmes you know what i mean so uh, you know, people will come here and say I'm giving him too much compliment. He's Nigerian. Why not? But I'm just telling facts right now. I'm not being too. I'm not being bad right now. I'm just, just telling facts. Nathan Goldman is still in the maze, man. Nathan Goldman against Danny Dubois. I just think that fight should have been made by now. But I feel like we have to see this guy's fight now. If not, when they get big or when they become new stars, they then try to marinate the bout and then let the fans suffer you know like water is letting the fans suffer right now water don't really care about the fans anymore we're all here waiting for the bout against Joshua to happen and he's saying that the bout will not happen until 2020 or 2021 I don't know man crazy guys like the video share and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel go follow me on Facebook at boxing block center on Facebook search for my page on Facebook, you find it there. Boxing blog said my pictures there. And follow me on Instagram as well. At Boxing Blog Setter. And if you're on Twitter, also follow me there at Boxing Blog. Cheers, guys. Stay blessed. Stay hungry. Stay humble. Not so, not so, not so.